Hello, my name is Kevin from Inquality, here to introduce you to our brand new range of SIP codecs. Let's start with the XLR codec, which is what I have here on my desk. Let's talk to somebody else who has one on their desk by pressing a simple shortcut pre-programmed on the screen, and I'll fade it up on the desk here. It's Hal Knapp. Hal is the production director for iHeartMedia in New York City and joins me now. Hey, Hal. Hey, Kevin. How are you? Yeah, great, thanks. Good to talk to you today. Uh, so how do you see this device fitting in with your operation, Hal? Well, the XLR Touch really gave us uh, a lot of opportunity to use different microphones, um, uh, not just uh, limited to the USB microphones, uh, more professional studio quality microphones with the XLR connectors on the front, or rather on the back, and also inputs and outputs. A lot more control flexibility uh, to use uh, either on the road or in the studio. Who's the talent or who's the voice at the other end that you're connecting to? Well, we, we're, we're going to dispatch this to clients uh, that want to record commercials, doing uh, testimonials, endorsements. The whole idea is, is to have a, a very easy setup so they can just plug the microphone in to the back, uh, plug in the headphones and uh, connect to our studios to record them. Will you use this to connect into IPDTL? How, how do you see that working? Yes, the, the whole idea is, is uh, instead of having laptops and, and uh, um, those different configurations which can cause problems, uh, this is an all-in-one-box solution that allows us to just easily plug and play and have it pre-configured so we can dispatch it to, uh, to talent, to clients, whoever we need to, and they can just uh, uh, plug in and, and, uh, to the Internet and connect without having to accept an a, a email link and configure their microphones and their headphones and such. You're really not using ISDN lines um, for much these days, especially uh, since the pandemic. Uh, already your on-air operation uh, are using SIP to connect between studios and to connect talent into the switchblades and Comrexes that you have at your various markets across the USA. The success of that is down to this Opus codec, right? Absolutely. I had an ISDN line in my house years ago. It took them forever to install it. And uh, obviously that's gone away. Um, being able to have uh, uh, the access to the internet and the Opus codec, uh, the quality is outstanding. Even at the lowest settings, I'm, I'm so happy with uh, how clear it sounds. Uh, people are amazed that they, they, they believe they're in the same room or just in the room next to me uh, as we record because it is so clear as the line is today between the UK and, and where I am in, in uh, New York. So you're there in your home studio where you've been working, well, for at least the last year. Do you ever think you'll go into New York City again? Well, that's, that's one of the reasons why we also have invested in the XLR Touch is to be able to... Um, to accommodate all the different uh, uh, people that are using the gear. Um, I, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have a full studio at home. Um, when the pandemic hit, um, it was just a matter of uh, reconfiguring a few things to implement um, some of the systems that we started to use. A lot of people are still working on laptops at home. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, the company uh, um, has a lot of different options. And uh, for me, it's actually an hour and a half commute because I'm actually in the suburbs of uh, New York City. So uh, I've saved a lot more time not having to commute and uh, been able to focus on the work. Hal, listen, great to talk to you today and really interesting to hear how you've been using SIP and IPDTL uh, for your remote connections there from your home studio for iHeartMedia New York City. Thanks, Hal. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Kevin. Bye-bye. All right, let's talk now about the new version of our USB SIP codec, which is much more robust and professional looking and feeling than the one which we rushed to market last year. Somebody who rushed to buy several of those is Ellen Oki, who's the founder of On Broadcast Communications here in the UK. There she is. Hi, Ellen. Great to talk to you today. Hi, Kevin. Hello. So, so what you've done is you've put together the codec, a USB microphone, the power supply, an Ethernet cable, all of the stuff that you need, and you ship that off with a courier off, off to your spokesperson, yeah? Absolutely. We've even sent off uh, the kit to the Netherlands and uh, I think Germany as well. So it's I can't begin to tell you how much it has been essential for our business to, to continue going whilst we've not been able to be in the studio at all. And just tell us a bit about your business then. What's your bread and butter um, from a, an audio point of view, Ellen? 
So we are essentially a broadcast PR agency and, and video content production agency. So when lockdown kicked in back in, in March and we had our stay at home orders, uh, we did exactly that. Um, but we did have clients like Public Health England and, and Boots who still needed to get their messages out um, to, to radio broadcasters um, throughout all of the lockdowns we've had. So while we did start off doing things by Skype and Zoom, we really did find that the lines weren't stable. Uh, interviews were getting cut off we weren't able to control the interviews as as we would be able to do as if if we were in our studio so this is for us the next best best thing to be in our studio you've got the original usb sip codec there i'm calling you from the xlr version on my desk here and that's connected through uh, an xlr and a trs jack cable into the mixing desk that I have here, but it could just as easily come from IPDTL, which is what you do, right? You run IPDTL on one of your computers, and therefore that allows you to connect to several of these at the same time. Uh, that's correct. So we've had a number of instances where we've had spokespeople, two spokespeople in different locations. So we've sent them each a uh, box and easily been able to, to connect with them with our producer. And you essentially act as the bridge then with IPDTL. You use that as if it's, well, like a virtual studio, I, I suppose, so that not only are you connecting through to the SIP codec, but you then also connect to the radio station either using SIP or the ISDN connect. Exactly that. So as we will do that in our, our recording studio, um, our, our producer will traffic those interviews with broadcasters uh, and connect them directly to our spokespeople. Well, it's great to hear about the ways that you've been making use of our services as the pandemic has been affecting operations over the last 12 months or so. But do you think this has now changed the way that you'll operate going forward, Alan? Uh, absolutely. I, I do think that, you know, ISDN lines are, are going to become defunct in the next few years. So we were always going to have to switch to another method to connect to broadcasters. Uh, and I think we will see people come back to the studio. We have had people come in already um, this year, but we still have spokespeople that can do it from home. And as long as they don't have barking dogs in the background um, <laughs> th there's no reason for them to, to come in if, the, if it's too far for them to travel um, or, or they feel more comfortable you know staying in the comfort of their own home. Yeah because I guess your operation has, has generally been fairly London focused your studio is in London whereas now you have the opportunity to work more flexibly with spokespersons from around the UK. And that's, that's exactly it. So, you know, once upon a time, spokespeople would either need to come from Edinburgh and slip down to, to London uh, and stay in a hotel overnight. That's absolutely not necessary anymore. And um, although I would like people to come to the studio, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not needed. And we can see the merits in that way of working now, which, you know, possibly beforehand I wouldn't have been as open to. Um, and what's really great about the software for us is that we'd normally have our clients in the green room and they'd be able to provide feedback in between interviews to our, our guests that were on mic. You're still able to have that exact same experience. You know, a, a client can click on the link and listen into all of the interviews as they're taking place. And uh, once they're done, our producer can just raise their levels and, and they can offer feedback exactly like what it is in the studio. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today, Alan. It sounds like you're already fairly busy, but I'm sure you'll always happily take on more work. So if anybody watching is looking for uh, broadcast PR services, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, go to our website, www.on-broadcast.com and uh, give us a bell from there. Brilliant. Enjoy the rest of your day, Alan. Bye-bye. Wonderful. Take care now. <laughs>